Did you lose the password for your DVR, have no idea how to reset it? In this video, I will talk about password generators. So, keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudemir Martins. In this video, I will talk about password generators for DVRs. If you just lost your password, you have no idea how to log in to your DVR, I have a solution for you just right here. But before I continue, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, just hit the link below. Also leave your comments and your thumbs up. So let's talk a, a little bit about password reset. I'm talking here about non-branded DVRs. That means when you buy a DVR, you have no brand, you have no idea if it's Hikvision, Dawa, Pelco, Samsung, whatever, you have no idea. If you have those brands, you can call somebody, right? Because they have technical support. But if your DVR has no brand at all, you just have a name there, you have a serial number or something, you have no way to call somebody, you can use a password reset, okay? So let's come here to my screen. I'm going to explain how it works. So basically, this presentation is how to reset A to 64 DVRs using password generators. Sometimes you see a screen like this, username, admin, but you have no idea what is the password? So let's understand a little bit how it works. So here's your DVR. You have here H64 digital video recorder. And then you think, is that the brand of the DVR? No, it's not. You need to understand that, all right? H264, it's a codec. So people there in China, they use the name because it's a fancy name. It's, the codec is very good, H264 is very good. So that's why they put the name there, H64 Network DVR, because people like the name. The name is very good, very interesting, very fancy, but it's not the brand. Beware of that, right? So back here, okay, it's not the brand. So it's a name used by different manufacturers, it's not your brand. What happens is that those DVRs, they have a board like this, like this and they have a chip on this board, and this chip, chip is manufactured by some company like High Silicon, for example, okay? So High Silicon manufactured this chip, they put it here on this board, and you can see different boards with different chips, like 3520, here you can see the chip, the 3520, just right here. Here's another one, this is 3521, and you have more DVRs using those kind of chips. So the idea here is that High Silicon manufactured this chip and they, they are being used for different DVRs around the world, okay? So if you have DVRs using this chip, that can work with the password reset too, okay? That's the idea. So let's keep coming here. So High Silicon, they have uh, this chip manufactured on 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you have all those names for the chips. If you have one of those, you can reset using the password too. So here, usually you see a screen like this. You see system login, username, password, blue like this, okay, dark blue like this. Or you see other languages, but it's the same screen for the menu. You see, they're a similar screen. So in that case, the DVR is using a chip from high silicon. So it's gonna work with the password generator. Here's an example of DVRs that use it, that chip like CP+, Cytrox, BB4CH, Senko, uh, the generic ones using the name H64 Network, H64 DVR and things like this, right? You see those, this, those type of screen. And then you have the password generators like the Super Password 1, Super Password 2, Super Password 3, okay, Time PWD, and on other reset generators like uh, Excel Spreadsheet, okay, and also the DVR password for DAWA DVR, okay. So you have different versions for some DVRs. You have size, uh, high silicon chip, you have different uh, password generators. Uh, don't worry, I have all of them. I will let the link available for you. You can just click in the link in the description, go to my blog, and back there in my blog, I have an article talking about password generators. You have the link to download all those password generators, right? 
Okay, so you can go to learnccTV.com just to get all those software to generate a password for your DVR. And you just need to try it, okay? There is no magic solution for you here. I, I don't have a way to say, hey, use this password generator or that password generator, okay? You can try and see if it works for your DVR. So here, how it works is an example. Here I have the DVR and here I have a date. Okay, so I will get this date and I will put the date here in the software. So I'll put here the year and here the month and the day that I just got from my DVR. And then it generates, generates a password for me. And that password I'm gonna use to log in, in, my, in my DVR, okay? Okay, another example, it's uh, another password generator. You also use date, year, month, and day. You put it here and you got here the password that you can use in the software. And here's another one. The one this one uh, has letters and numbers in the password, okay? This is another example. You just need to choose the date. You just click on the software, choose the date you see on the DVR, and it's going to generate the, the password for you just like this, uh, okay? And that one is a spreadsheet. It's an Excel one. You just put the date here also, year, month, and day, and you're gonna have a password to be used in your DVR, okay? So date, uh, the date is year, month, and day, and it is for DVRs uh, manufactured after 2001. And there's also an option that you can reset your DVRs, like uh, removing battery or uh, closing uh, some pins in the, in the board of your DVRs, just like this one. You just use a tweezer here to close these pins right and then you like short circuit the board and you reset the password and there's different way to do it you just come here to learn cctv.com and there you have an article that i explain everything how to use the password generators i have the link there you can download them and also how to use a tweezer to reset some models of dvr you're just gonna try every option that's there if it's non-branded dvr uh you can't just uh say that you have a DVR like a YZ3015 that I have no idea what it is. I have no idea what brand is that. If you just have this or a serial number your DVR, I can't help you because I don't have all DVRs that are manufactured there in China or other places, right? You just need to try. And you can also leave the comments here. If it works for you, it can help uh, somebody else. Somebody, sometimes somebody else have has that same DVR as you do, and then you can help somebody else just leave in the comments here. So please leave the comments here if you are successful trying to reset your DVR, okay? So that's all for today. Just visit the blog, you can see the article, you can download the software and do your work resetting your DVR. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your comment and your thumbs up. See you in the next video.